Good morning, folks. We're starting once again with the umbral and mesospot fields visible in 171 angstroms, with the still and calm of a star needing a nap. But there is still plenty to discuss. Let's we'll start with space weather, as always, where we find solar flaring still down in the dumps, even with some new spots on the disk. Growth has all but halted, and magnetic complexity has not changed much since yesterday. Let's move on to something that isn't allegedly real. Folks, there are planned SDO maneuvers and then there are space quakes where it looks like a wave just hit the spacecraft briefly. And while the official science says it's not the solar wind doing it, I can peg a solar wind shift to every one I've ever seen. The one yesterday was around 1500 UTC and that's when a density shock wave swept past our planet. It was the leading edge of a coronal hole stream where slower particles bunched up on the bow shock leading the faster particles. Perfect time match here, as always. Now, this stream isn't too fast, so despite the signature of impact in the electron flux and magnetometer, we saw no magnetic storms, just some instability and minor satellite charging hazards. The coronal hole is moving on now, and so are the planets. Earthquake uptick is over as the most interesting quake of the day was a very rare shake in Sweden. Hello. Articles today include organic material on Comet 67P. This dirty snowball comet theory is looking more and more like the icy rock with organic material paradigm. Speaking of rocks, rocky exoplanet confirmed very close to our solar system. Details and the video linked below. Also, We've got a rethink of the carbon budget. This is kind of a big miss for the realm of climate science. Also, we see a bunch of new visualizations from NASA. After a mini arc storm hit California at the end of 2014, we have seen the rainfall go back to mostly pounding the east. But for some lone events in the desert, that stays. An interesting fact from the latest analysis is that California's drought has now hit one full year's worth of rainfall lost accumulated over the last few years. Featured at the observers today is six new pieces published to the Earth Changes files. These are actually preserved from our former blog and my personal articles as we are still transitioning the Earth Changes ones. Remember folks, this is the last day to get the lower membership price at suspiciousobservers.org. Happy birthday website. And remember, if you get a recurring membership now, the price can never be raised. It's like a discount every year. New system in the West Pacific heading slowly for Japan. Again, another storm strengthening in the East Pacific, beginning to shift towards Hawaii. Yesterday's convergence in the U.S. shifted offshore, but the Southwest got a licking. That may continue tonight as the moisture has little place else to go with high pressure clearing from the breadbasket. Northern Storm and Mediterranean pop-ups are the top watches in Europe. Not going to be too major. And last but not least, we've got a low pressure mass in the west and a separate convergence to the east. These are what's on the dance floor down under right now. We've got some current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.